it's Johnny Jones, and I'm here at home. And today, uh, we got this Maxon uh, CB radio, but we're not worried about the radio. I wanted to talk about why the hell, on some radios, you have three different wires. You have a red, an orange, and a black. Now, I had to look all this up myself because I was curious and didn't know. That's right. Johnny doesn't know everything. Can you believe that? Anyways, so, shut up. Anyways, so I want to talk a little bit about why that exists and uh, what you should do because a lot of people were confused by the wiring configurations and if you should leave it out or plug it in or if you should just twist those together. Um, but basically what happened, and I'm going to take you through a little bit of history, is back in the 1800s, 1880s, they invented the electric cigarette lighter. Um, but it wasn't implemented into cars, um, uh, commonly anyway, uh, standardized, until the 1920s, like 25. And of course it looked like what you would plug um, a lighter into. You can see this is an adapter for what, you, what we call a lighter socket, but I'll get into that later. Um, so, and it would look just like our modern day cigarette lighter plugs. Um, but it didn't actually pop out on its own. That was a design that they made in 1960. Um, it was, when heated, it would pop out. You know, you know how it works. Those have been around forever. So, turns out that somewhere along the lines, they decided, you know what? We're not going to call that a cigarette lighter plug anymore. Because it will promote smoking. That's right. Because people were just buying new cars... And going, Jesus, there's a cigarette lighter in here. I really got to start smoking now. That's exactly what people were fucking doing. Okay, so they said, all right, we're not going to include cigarette lighters anymore for these outlets. We're going to call them 12-volt peripheral outlets or whatever. Um, but they will be backwards compatible. So you can plug cigarette lighters into them and they will work. But they're not cigarette lighter plugs. No, they're not. They're 12 volt outlets. Not cigarette lighter plugs. Or cigarette lighter holes, holders, whatever. Whatever you call it. But they still work. Okay, okay, well, you get the idea. I'm being sarcastic. Anyways, the point is, um, is that they, uh, there was some sort of strange confusion that I haven't figured out yet on... Whether a 12 volt outlet stays on versus a, if a cigarette lighter outlet stays on or didn't. And some people said, oh, the old cigarette lighters used to stay on all the time, whether or not the battery was or the switch was on. And I've seen that old, old Jeeps, the 12 volt outlet would stay on for 20 minutes and then shut off. Either way, the point is you have to know that to understand what the hell this is about. So basically what this is about, and I'll just go ahead and demonstrate because I got this already hooked up, of course. Let me go ahead and plug it into the red here. This of course is my Wii power brick that I have to talk about all the time because you know, they just work so damn well. Uh, they're, they're noisy, yeah, I give you that, they're noisy, but a lot less noisy than you think. So let's turn on our Maxon, okay. Nine. Okay, we don't like channel nine. Channel nine is for emergencies only. That's not true, but you know what I mean. Okay, so let's go to 15. You can't hear anything? That's not important. Let's turn the radio off. Radio is off. You're getting out of your truck, you're going into the bar, you know, you got your woman on your side, done talking to your buddies or whatever. However you guys live, I don't know, I'm always at home. And then you come back, you're drunk, and you lost your lady to that midget, but he was attractive. And you turn your radio back on to complain, and it's back to nine. And you're like, oh my god, now I'm going to have to do this. Wow, what a waste of time and life essence. Right? What a complete waste of soul, of energy, of calories, of your God-given time here on earth. 
So they said, well, let's do this. Let's take this orange cord here and we'll leave it constantly hooked up to the battery. Always. So that, and if I can do this with one hand, so that when you turn your radio off, and I'm not going to be able to do that. Yes, you can. You can do it, Johnny, because I believe in you. Oh, thank you. I'm just kidding. I don't believe in you. You're going to fail. All right. So when you turn your radio off, so let's go to an arbitrary channel, 12. All right. So the power's off, but you come in, you turn it back on, and you're on 12 again. So basically what's happen happening is the black wire is your common ground, and the orange wire is keeping the memory in your radio on a specific channel. Which is incredibly, incredibly important. I mean, God, you save so much time, right? Anyways, the point being is they were supposed to be hooked up to a source that was always on. So that this, the little red wire, would be hooked up to your switch or whatever, so that that would completely go off when you turned it off. So the radio would not be on. Only the orange cord and the black cord would be active to keep this circuit alive with your battery. Now, I'm not going to go into all the wiring configurations, because quite frankly, there's a lot of conflicting information. And, uh, some say that the cigarette lighter plugs on their vehicle stay on all the time, or the 12 volt outlet plugs. And, and there's, <laughs> there's people arguing about if they're over, they're not the same thing, or they are the same thing, or they do different things, but they really don't. So either way, if you get one of these radios and you see three different cords coming out of this thing, lines, wires, whatever you want to call them, just... Hook them up like this, okay? Hook them up like this. Leave the orange one out. It doesn't matter. I would just hook it up just like that. Twist those together, and, and you know, you're going to be fine. No worries. Um, you won't go to the same channel if you turn it off. But, I mean, if you want to wire it up so that that, actual, that memory module works all the time, and it's always hooked up to power and all that, that's up to you that's your thing if you want it to work that way that's fine but i'm just here to clear up some of that confusion because i saw a lot of confusion on the forums and um that's what it does i'm not saying that is what happens in every radio some people are saying oh it's it's or the, the orange one does this for this radio but something else for the other one but i never saw any proof of that but so i would say if you have a radio like this do what i did do the test and see if that's what it's for Anyways, what else should I talk about? Oh, yes. Anyways, the reason why I haven't made a video in a while is because I tore a muscle in my shoulder and back, and I wasn't able to flail my hands around like a moron. You know, you're used to that, right? So I had to take it easy and, and take a couple, I think, 10 days off. Actually, I pulled it, uh, I think I pulled it about five days ago, but it's getting better now. Point is, I'm back. Ah! Don't do that. So anyways, I'm back and I'm making videos again, you know, because I've been out for, out of the game for 10 days. I want to show you this before you go, because I know you're going to leave me. Now, this radio, I thought the, that black shit, by the way, is just the um, pad. This pad is chipping off. This radio, I looked at it. Let me show you this side. So I looked at it and I said, well, what the hell happened? There's nothing in this radio. I remember saying in the, in the last video, well, I don't know what this radio is. It's probably a cheap radio, you know. Um, probably just a well, or not well built, uh, probably a poor built radio, just crap, you know. But I look into it and um, I don't see any components. And I think, what the hell, where's the, where's the rest of the radio? And then, of course, I see a few surface mount stuff, you know, here. Surface mount. Um, resistors and things. And I think, well, God, that's still not much. It's still, <clears throat> there's not a lot to the radio still. Um, and then, because I should have probably showed you that first. You know, the back, there's so much surface mount stuff going on. So this is a double-sided board. And, um, 
It looked like, I don't know, I thought that was a solder bridge for a second. But anyway, so um, this is actually a decent radio. So if you run into this Maxon radio, it's actually a decent radio because um, surface mount components do not like to fall off very easily. They, uh, they're very, as you can tell, surface mounted. They are very flat and um, they don't shake around like you would in a regular radio where you've got a lot of bouncing and you will have solder, you know, because the component's heavy and in a, in, a, in a vehicle they're always upside down, the board's facing downwards, so you'll have these little capacitors hanging in there, moving around, chipping uh, away at the uh, solder um, joints and everything. So these are the way of the future. Um, not that I'm, you know, praising it. Please don't get me wrong. I love the way old electronics look. I love dead bug style stuff, you know. Um, I love that just as much. I love that more than this, but this will last a lot longer um, as far as vibrations go. I'm not saying the components are any better. I'm just saying that as far as vibrations go, if you're going to have this and if you're going to have a radio in a four wheeler or off roading and something, I would say get something service mounted. Anyways, what was I talking about? Oh, I guess that's it. Anyways, stay tuned for more. I'm going to do some capacitor changes in that uh, Bowman, I believe, because someone wants to see a, a guide on the changing of capacitors. And then uh, I think um, Bob wanted to see the inside that of the Bowman for the Cybernet chassis. And then, of course, I'm going to be building some amps. Hold on. Preamps, okay? Not illegal stuff. Not illegal stuff. Don't look at that. That's for 10 meters. Anyways, it's Johnny Jones. I'm here at home. And I'll see you later.